So let's talk about to-do lists. Do you use a to-do list? Should you use a to-do list? Well, anyway, there are a few really good ones to choose from. Today, we are going to focus on a to-do list that is still kind of up and coming, but I believe it could potentially become one of the bigger ones, if not maybe the biggest one. Who knows? It's by a little company named Microsoft. So let's talk about Microsoft to-do. So Microsoft to do. So as I mentioned, it is still kind of up and coming, but it is quickly becoming one of the leading players, seemingly. Now evidence of that is Microsoft acquiring the very popular Wunderlist app some years ago. Now Wunderlist has now shut down very recently and Microsoft has encouraged all the users to migrate to Microsoft to do. Now it has a lot of similarities in terms of features and they're adding more features all the time. So yeah, the future is kind of looking pretty bright for Microsoft to do. Now of course it is cross-platform, so it's available on Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. So the usual suspects, I would say. So let's take a look at it and see what it has to offer. Okay, so we're now in the Windows app for Microsoft To Do. And let's start by simply creating a new task. So let's go down here and type in clean house, for example. Now, as soon as I start typing, you see some more options appear here on the right. Now, this is to set a due date. This is to set a reminder and these are the repeat options. This is actually one of the first things I check in a new to do app. Now it says daily, weekdays, weekly, monthly, yearly and custom. I'm mostly interested in the custom settings. So let's go to weekly. What I think is important is that we are able to select multiple days. Well, in Microsoft to do that seems to be possible. So that's great. Now let's go to monthly. It seems that in Microsoft to do, you only have the option to pick one day. So let's say the 15th or the 30th, and it will repeat every month on that day, on that day. What I'm missing is the option like um, repeat every first Monday or repeat every second Saturday. You know, that doesn't seem to be an option in Microsoft to do yet. I really hope they will add this feature in uh, future releases. Anyway, let's just finish creating this task and uh, there it is. Okay, now let's click on the task so the detailed view will appear and let's take a look at that. Now, first of all, this obviously is the name of the task. Then you can mark it as important by, you know, clicking this little star over here. Uh, we can add steps. So in other to-do apps, this would probably be called subtasks, but here it's called steps. So for example, clean house. Maybe you want to first do the dishes and then we want to vacuum clean maybe. All right. Now then we can add it to my day. We can add this task to my day. I'm going to circle back to that in a minute. Um, here we have the um, reminder settings. We have the due date settings and the repeat settings. You can also add a file. So you could upload something like a receipt or something like that. And finally, you can also add notes. Okay, now let's take a look at the organizational options for Microsoft to do. Now, first of all, we can create a list, of course. So let's create a list called um, salary, for example. Let's create another list called uh, savings. And we can also create groups. So let's create a group called finance. And now let's put these two lists in this group. All right, so that is how you can organize your tasks. So you can organize your tasks in lists and you can organize your lists in groups. Okay, now let's take a look at the options for analyzing and managing your tasks. Uh, I've just activated all possible smart lists in Microsoft to do. So that's why you're seeing a few more now. Let's start with the tasks overview. Now in tasks, you will see all the tasks that haven't been assigned to any list yet. So as you can see, the task we've just created hasn't been assigned to any list. That's why it shows up here. Now next we have completed. So all tasks that have been completed will show up here. Then we have the all overview. Now, believe it or not, this was only added, this feature was only added very recently by popular demand because it was just unacceptable 
that Microsoft to do didn't have this. I mean, I think that every to do list should have at least this overview of all the tasks in the program because that is the basis for everything. So very happy that they added that. Next, we have assigned to you. Now, pretty self-explanatory. This is very relevant if you're working in groups. Uh, next, we have planned. So any task that has a, a due date or a reminder attached to it is going to show up here. And then we have important. Now, if you um, label any task as important, obviously it will show up here. And last but certainly not least, we have my day. Okay, now what is my day? Well, you can select any task from any list with any due date and put it in my day. Now, most to-do lists have an option to show you all the tasks that are due for today. So why should this my day be any useful addition? Well, if you're like me, and I guess many other people as well, then the amount of tasks that have a due date for, well, any given day actually, can become very overwhelming and when it becomes overwhelming ironically it might keep you from being productive at all so what happens with me and again I think with many other people as well is if it's overwhelming you look at you look at all your tasks and you think yeah this one yeah maybe this afternoon and that one maybe tonight and at the end of the day you've pushed everything forward and not a lot got done now with my day you can select just a few tasks and then you can focus on only those tasks without getting overwhelmed by all the other stuff you're supposed to be doing today but might be a little less important to you. Now at first I didn't think a lot of this feature. I even thought it was a little bit confusing that it was there. But once I started using it, I discovered that it can be absolutely useful. Uh, and I know it's kind of psychological but it absolutely works for me. You know, might not work for everyone, but for me it definitely works. And I even think it is the biggest selling point of this to-do app. I think it's brilliant. Okay, in conclusion, what do I think of this to-do list? Well, in my opinion, I think it's not quite there yet. And when I say not quite there yet, what I mean is, in this case, uh, it's already a very good to-do app, um, but you get the feeling there's more potential there. It's also lacking a little bit in certain areas, but it's just little, little things. So for example, it doesn't seem to be possible from within the detailed view of a task to move that task to a list or move it to another list. Now that to me just doesn't make sense because I think that from within the detailed view of a task, you should be able to do everything you can do to a task. And it just doesn't make sense that that is not possible from there. Just a little thing. Now another little thing is I would like to see more snooze options. You know, the only snooze option you have is five minutes, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I'm not sure if that is a deliberate policy, but personally I would really like to see more snooze options. So it's just little things like that. Now on the other hand, I think this app looks great. It's very stable, uh, the layout makes sense, and of course I really love the My Day feature. You know, so in conclusion, I think it's already a very good to-do app, but you get the feeling it can even get better. So that's what I think about Microsoft To Do. Let me know what you think about Microsoft To Do, so leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then consider subscribing. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you very soon.